Welcome once again to Living in the 21st Century. Joining me today is Vasil Shavchenko, former Transportation Minister of Ukraine. My brother, Vasil, it's always a pleasure to have you on today. How's uh, it going? Thank, you. thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to uh, have uh, our discussion. Thank you for having me. S certainly. Yeah. We, we have a lot going on. This um, Most recently, I think um, one of Ukraine's Marines would have indicated to the British Broadcasting Corporation um, that Kharkiv is really bombarded um, by Putin's forces and some Marines weren't prepared to handle the intensity of what they are presently experiencing. Do you have any ideas about that? Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, <clears throat> I'd commented that uh, uh, the way that uh, they tried to storm uh, Ukraine's uh, uh, second biggest city, Kharkiv, but they, they uh, haven't managed to, to move more than a couple of kilometers uh, uh, at Ukraine territory. And before it was a gray uh, zone, there were no uh, many uh, residents and uh, they decided uh, to storm it uh, unexpectedly and uh, initially they managed to, to storm and uh, they managed to move for a couple of kilometers and uh, uh, now uh, it happened it happened just after uh, ukraine's uh, military and uh, ukraine's uh, president uh, asked the united states to allow using uh, uh, pro provide uh, from united states weapon uh, to use at Ukraine territory in this direction, because we know that their uh, their stock uh, stockpiles uh, are allocated at the Russia's uh, territory, and they have uh, really uh, good logistics, and it's allowed them uh, to use a big number of uh, uh, different type of artillery and uh, different type of ammunition, including uh, their uh, uh, advantages uh, in the sphere of uh, domination in the sky. Uh, it's a uh, so-called gliding bomb. They are uh, launching it and uh, they uh, 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 informed that they have launched uh, two and a half, half ton uh, bomb uh, to residential houses, uh, residential uh, areas. And uh, they were bombing, but uh, unexpectedly Ukraine uh, received the uh, opportunity to prevent and uh, all, uh, most of their uh, stockpiles were eliminated and uh, their uh, base were eliminated and uh, them uh, uh, part of uh, uh, Russia's military, it's about uh, half uh, thousand uh, now is surrounded uh, uh, at the former uh, in, uh, industrial area. And uh, now uh, Ukraine forces uh, using different type of uh, weapon are uh, holding this region and uh, eliminated surrounded uh, Russian's uh, troops. And because of it, uh, we can say that uh, they are not able to move farther because they wanted uh, to demonstrate that they are able uh, to hold uh, full-scale operation, but it appeared uh, it doesn't work. Uh, because, uh, first of all, uh, they wanted to move closer to Kharkiv city just to uh, launch a gliding bomb, uh, just to uh, spread uh, 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 terror around uh, Ukraine. But they haven't managed, and uh, uh, according to the last promises to Ukraine, Ukraine uh, soon uh, have to uh, receive three additional uh, uh, air defense uh, system patriots. And as far as I know, 
uh, United States uh, officials will inform on uh, Monday that uh, we will have uh, Hawk Air uh, defense system, which would allow us uh, uh, to prevent this, ty this uh, type of blow. And uh, there are negotiations concerning uh, eight Patriot system uh, are in, dis uh, in disposal uh, Israel, and Israel is going to have a uh, new generation, and uh, maybe it will transmit uh, old uh, uh, ones to United States and United States will be able uh, to send it to Ukraine because uh, it's uh, extremely important uh, to have uh, air defense system because uh, they are bombing uh, uh, electricity grids and uh, now uh, they uh, have eliminated uh, for 90% uh, uh, power plants uh, which uh, uh, are working uh, at the uh, fossil fuel, uh, and now they uh, uh, are, and they, you know that they captured uh, Ukrainian uh, nuclear uh, power station uh, in Zaporizhia. Uh, the station has uh, six blocks. It's biggest in Europe uh, uh, nuclear. Uh, power station, uh, uh, power producing station. And uh, uh, because of it, uh, we lack electricity and uh, now we uh, don't have enough electricity for uh, civilians and uh, very often we have uh, switching on and switching off. Uh, as usual, it uh, depends on region, but uh, half of day uh, we don't have electricity it's uh, uh, encouraged us uh, to uh, rebuild our systems and uh, the system is being rebuilt uh, private households uh, are uh, installing uh, 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 energy uh, batteries and uh, different type of equipment which would allow to, uh, uh, us to have electricity and uh, I hope we will uh, we will manage to do it okay I want to ask this question I don't know if you had the opportunity to um, zoom in on um, the last presidential debate between Biden and Trump and Trump had indicated that had he been in power, if he was, that there would have never been a Ukraine-Russia war. Bear in mind that this is a man who wants to hold Zelensky hostage just to tell a lie on Biden's son by not giving him, giving Ukraine monetary support that was rightfully due to them at one point. Now... Bear in mind again that this is Putin's buddy, right? Do you think that he would have this war would have ever been established if Trump was in power, or would Trump give him the blue lights to go ahead and bomb Ukraine? What What is your opinion? Uh, I will try to, to answer the, these questions uh, and I will try to, to answer it uh, from different points. First of all, uh, I know that uh, uh, this uh, debate uh, uh, for uh, United States president is uh, really important uh, and uh, people from around the world were watching and have made different outcome. But uh, as far as I know, United States is the uh, 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 biggest uh, democratic uh, country and uh, has different instruments uh, to uh, control, to, to hold under control uh, any president in the United States. Yes, uh, we know that uh, uh, Ukraine was uh, involved in these relations uh, uh, when uh, United States President was Trump and he wanted uh, uh, to, uh, to make problems uh, Joseph Biden uh, concerning his uh, uh, son. Uh, and uh, uh, there are different rumors, but uh, I think that uh, 
uh, uh, Ukraine's uh, uh, power is uh, 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 is power which is running uh, the country during uh, a war, and uh, uh, all people, all, all our enemy, are trying to uh, uh, to weaken Ukraine including this uh, difference view because for example we have a lot of challenges uh, inside of ukraine concerning uh, that uh, term of uh, working parliament and president has ex uh, have expired and uh, it means that uh, we hope we will have uh, next election campaign but uh, now we are trying uh, to avoid uh, criticizing uh, our domestic uh, uh, relations uh, because of threats uh, we have biggest threat uh, and uh, nevertheless uh, 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 it's uh, second uh, second point and third point that uh, now we have seen that uh, uh, Russia's president uh, uh, uh has uh, visited uh, North Korea and it means that uh, Russia is headed to uh, uh, autocrat and uh, is autocracy and their union is uh, biggest threats not only for Ukraine because uh, uh, North Korea is allocated far from uh, Ukraine but uh, it's close uh, to the main uh, allies uh, United States in the uh, uh, Indo-Pacific region and uh, uh, we know that uh, North Korea is interested in having nuclear weapon I don't think that they are going to use it against and uh, they are, uh, I think that it's an uh, attempt to uh, uh, to threaten all people around the world and first of all uh, United States because this uh, meeting uh, 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 informed people around the world that uh, now uh, uh, Russia is uh, weak and looking for partnership and his yes. partners become uh, has become uh, uh, main uh, autocratic uh, regime in the world and it means that uh, they are going uh, uh, to act together and uh, they decided to sign a military agreement uh, and uh, that they are main partners and uh, this decision is uh, 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 prohibited United Nations uh, resolutions uh, and uh, other international uh, uh, unions. Yeah, I want to ask you this question again. Um, Considering that China also is eyeing Philippines for some reason, they may want to go to war just as much as they want eyeing Taiwan. I want to ask you this question because Donald Trump has dictatorial ideas in his head. No maybes or no buts. And I want to ask you this question because this is very important. In this last presidential debate again, yes, Biden appeared to lose because he stumbled he was not as elegant and as fluent as people was expect him, expecting him to be. Now, here's the reality. Biden brings facts, substance, and truth to the people. Trump, a con artist, brought lies, and he sold his lies well. He looked great doing what he doing, but it was simply nothing more but lies. Do you believe that the American people in this 21st century should fall for the fake realities of life or hold dear to those which is of substance and truth that will propel this nation forward in prosperity and maintain its leadership in this free world? What would you want to say pertaining to that? advise the American people in this case? Uh, I'd like to uh, to start my comments from uh, the union who's against uh, uh, leaded by United States uh, countries. Against it, uh, China, which is trying uh, to work with uh, autocratic uh, countries, Russia, I Iran, and North Korea. Uh, and uh, uh, 
uh, they are looking for way uh, to uh, to inflict uh, the damages uh, any countries who uh, belong to uh, this uh, union. For example, we can say that it's NATO bloc, or we can uh, say that it's countries who belongs to democratic type of life. But uh, now uh, all these countries uh, who's against uh, are interested in uh, domestic problems in United States and uh, they know that uh, domestic problems uh, cost for example uh, election campaign or cost domestic uh, challenges uh, all these things will be uh, good for them they are looking for uh, any way to uh, to encourage it and uh, maybe they uh, will be interested uh, in uh, any domestic uh, problems in the United States. And because of it, uh, I think that uh, 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 United States uh, people must understand that its biggest challenge uh, uh, you have received uh, uh, for maybe for uh, uh, for uh, dozens of years. Uh, and this challenge uh, uh, must be understand uh, and uh, uh, must be prepared uh, real answer for these questions. And uh, main important answers is the uh, union between uh, 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 Pacific countries uh, and uh, there are two uh, unions uh, and uh, uh, cooperation with European Union uh, because European Union uh, uh, is uh, uh, going uh, uh, to to work uh, differently in the case uh, when, for example, in United States, uh, win one or uh, 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 another uh, uh, can candidate for uh, president, and uh, these challenges. Uh, uh, must be uh, overcome uh, with uh, real success because I know that uh, United States economy is uh, uh, good, uh, good condition and uh, is working uh, effectively. European Union is working uh, effectively, uh, um, but, uh, and um, uh, uh, Indo-Pacific region. Uh, have, uh, has a lot of challenges uh, concerning uh, uh, provocation which have been done by China or their allies. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, uh, this uh, uh, cooperation uh, will allow to have uh, the, to have uh, defeat autocratic countries because we uh, can see that they are able to use uh, different resources. For example, we uh, had uh, different opinion concerning uh, not only sending to Ukraine uh, uh, ammunition for Russia's army from North Korea, but sending soldiers. Uh, officially, they are going uh, to service uh, equipment. They uh, are going to uh, to send, but uh, we know that uh, Russia is looking for uh, mercenaries from uh, around the world, and they uh, are paying uh, higher and higher prices for uh, signing contract uh, for going uh, uh, to fight, or better to say, to die in Ukraine. Uh, we have had uh, a lot of uh, 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 a lot of information from around different countries, uh, mostly from uh, uh, so-called big uh, souls, uh, who whose members uh, ha have been sent uh, or uh, decided to go, and uh, now they are looking for. Uh, this uh, citizens and uh, ask Russia Federation to pay compensation and uh, for for killed uh, their citizens uh, at the battle line and uh, to send uh, another citizen uh, uh, at home. And uh, I, I think that these uh, challenges uh, uh, are really important. And uh, during uh, uh, this year, 
we will have a lot of uh, provocations and this provocation uh, will will be targeted uh, for uh, uh, unions rela uh, for relations uh, among uh, union members and uh, will be uh, mm, uh, done against U United States because uh, United States uh, uh, is main country and uh, uh, and uh, their targets uh, ex uh, exactly are in United States and they will act differently. For example, they will try to interfere in the election campaign. They have done many times uh, during uh, election campaign in uh, Euro uh, in European countries and. Uh, uh, and uh, including in Ukraine when we had uh, election campaign because uh, uh, we can see that uh, all this type of war are uh, waging uh, uh, differently from previous uh, war. It's hybrid uh, hybrid war and uh, people must uh, can understand uh, uh, it only when they are following uh, uh, fake news or uh, misinformation from different sources and uh, i think that uh, it's important uh, to learn uh, to learn uh, deeply this relations uh, because for example uh, battle line in ukraine have demonstrated that uh, instruments in, in war has changed for example, the uh, the uh, uh, drones uh, actions uh, are, uh, have become more uh, important and uh, more effective than them uh, to have uh, high equipped and uh, armored uh, military vehicles uh, from the past. Uh, and uh, them, uh, they are bullying uh, very often Ukraine soldiers at uh, the uh, battle line. They are trying to send them uh, messages uh, to their uh, mobile uh, mobiles, uh, telephones. And uh, they are uh, uh, forming at the occupied territory. They are forming uh, new... Uh, uh, paramilitary organization from uh, for from young people from uh, from children I, I and all the actions uh, uh, are uh, uh, are important uh, to know how they will act in the in the future. I'm glad you touched on that, there, Vassal, because I know recently we have spoke about this before, where Putin was uh, recruiting young children to fight in this war. And over half a million troops had died. And where is he continuing right now to get this uh, manual support to fight in the war? Is he putting children, the Russian children, into wars right now as we speak? Is he sourcing, well, we know that he's sourcing mercenaries from around the world. But how much more can he keep up with this? And for the amount of artillery he would have lost in this war and lives that would have lost from the Russia side in this war. He has to be weak at this point. How much more can he do? Do you see this war still propelling into another year or two years from now? Or soon coming to a halt? Uh, no, I, I, I wanted uh, uh, to recall uh, one moment that they decided, uh, um, decided to adopt that uh, for Ukraine's region uh, uh, now are Russian's region, and they uh, voted uh, amendment to Russia's constitution. Uh, and now they, when they are speaking about their citizen, it uh, sometimes very often uh, uh, can be Ukrainians regions. Uh, they are occupied and uh, and. Uh, 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 captured and uh, uh, at this territory they are forming uh, uh, this kind of uh, 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 paramilitary organizations uh, uh, from uh, uh, young children and they uh, they name the, them Russians and so, uh, they are preparing them uh, to send to the battle line so he convert and, them into he convert these young people into Russians um, he convert Ukrainians into Russians and now training them to fight 
Ukrainians on their own yeah. soil? Yeah. This is yeah. this is this is terrible. Yes. Um, how they, many cities had he captured so far? Uh, first of all, uh, they are drafting. Uh, uh, different uh, different ages people at the occupied territory and sending them uh, very often without uh, uh, without weapon uh, just to to run to Ukraine's uh, fortifications they have tried uh, different type of storm Ukraine's fortification first of all it's people who's uh, 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 under drug, uh, people who's uh, uh, forced uh, to run because they have uh, behind uh, so-called uh, uh, military troops uh, which are uh, sh uh, which are killing them if uh, if they are uh, turning back, and uh, sometimes they. Uh, 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 have no uh, have no choice and very often they uh, when if they have a chance they are uh, uh, asking Ukraine forces they are throwing uh, out weapon if they have and ask uh, for uh, uh, for uh, ask uh, Ukraine forces to arrest them uh, because uh, 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 Li uh, life in uh, Ukraine's uh, military uh, uh, prisons uh, uh, is provided according to the uh, international standards. They have food, they have uh, uh, good condition for life. And uh, very often they don't want to go back to Russia Federation. Uh, they ask to uh, to stay to Ukraine and uh, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, can ask uh, to join to uh, form the Ukraine territory uh, new military units which uh, are formed from, for example, Russians uh, from Belarusians. It's uh, their countries. Uh, representative who are fighting against uh, uh, this uh, 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 this Russia's army, and uh, because of it, uh, uh, to divide it for, uh, to divide it from, uh, for example, fighting Russia Federation. Uh, 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 it's impossible because yes. uh, first, of all, uh, uh, first of all, they are not interested in saving soldiers' life. Yes. They are interested in demonstrations that they are storming, that they are uh, attacking Ukraine forces and to demonstrate that they uh, can attack every day. For example, uh, today we have had 131 uh, uh, attack against well, Ukraine's territory. Well, Vasil, thank you for coming on again. That's um, a good update. And we come to the minutes, final seconds in our program. I want to thank all those who have been tuning in or living in the 21st century. Do have a nice day.